Hey y'all, I was recently up at my general store working in Missouri and came across this gadget that we've been selling, but I haven't personally tried it out. So I grabbed it to bring it home. It's called the Dr. Herringbone Tone Traveler. And the purpose of this device is to open up instruments. So it, it it's a speaker that you hang on the bridge of your instrument, guitar, banjo, mandolin, whatever. And you can choose which tones that the speaker sends through the wood of the instrument to help uh, open up that wood or to wake up a, a dormant instrument. For those of you who have played older instruments that were played a lot, you know that they sound different than if they weren't played a lot. So the purpose of this device is to try to speed that process up. Um, they're kind of pricey. They're just under $300. So I was kind of shocked by that. But once I started using it, the technology that's involved doesn't surprise me for the cost. And if it actually does what it says it does, then I think it's worth the cost to have that uh, on, you know, for ongoing use for whatever instrument I want to use it on. It comes with a tablet, like a Android based tablet here, I'll show you. And you can choose which instrument you're working on. So I've got it set to the guitar. I have all the bridge pins selected. So it's going to play all of those tones in the speaker. Um, we have our other instruments here a bowed instrument, mando, guitar, banjo. Or you can also go over here to the note um, section and you can choose which notes and which octaves you want it to play. So you could, let's say that your guitar or whatever instruments may be weak when you capo it on the third fret. Well, you could choose to resonate the frequencies that your guitar plays when capoed at the third fret and it would mimic those. Okay, back to the guitar. Um, I'm going to highlight all the bridge pins. You'll hear it light up here. It's over there on my guitar. We'll walk over and check that out here in a bit. Uh, but it's got a volume control over on the side. It's turned all the way up right now, um, and I leave it running overnight. Well, last night was the first night to do it. Um, I still leave it on whenever I'm in here working, but it gives me a headache if it's turned all the way up. So I just turn it down. It's hard to do with one hand, sorry. There you go. You can turn the volume down and it can just resonate in the background and hopefully still do some good work. But let's walk over here, see what it looks like. There it is. It hangs on the bridge with that little T that you thread between the strings. The top of the guitar is just buzzing, all the strings. You can feel the strings resonating. And you can mute it here or control that volume or change different frequencies like I mentioned uh, if I wanted B flat chord so now it's playing a B flat chord so it might be something where you could throw a capo on the third fret simulate your one chord there now they do operate wirelessly, but the battery life on both this and the tablet are like three or four hours. So I've just got it here near a an outlet where I can leave it plugged in and it will run indefinitely. But I'm, I'm really excited. Like I may have mentioned, can't remember, uh, this Gallagher guitar is one of the best guitars I've ever played that's brand new. So it's not one that I think, gosh, this thing needs to open up, but it is an Addy Top. So I know that it's nowhere close to what it's going to be as good as it is right now. So I'm kind of trying to speed that process up and I'll keep you posted on that and what I think about it. There's some great videos you can check out online. In fact, if you go to the general store and you search for the Tone Traveler, there's a video that we have embedded on the page where they did an in-studio test. You need to watch that because it shows the, um, the dB difference of a guitar opening up over time as the Tone Traveler is used. So... Um, we have some objective evidence there that this thing actually works. And of course, the science there makes sense that it works. Uh, but go check it out. They are expensive, but maybe you can buy one and rent it out to your friends or your family. <laughs> Recoup some of that cost and um, get your instruments sounding better. Adios.